Let's talk about gene editing. It's a type of gene therapy. Gene therapy is the use of genetic material to treat or prevent disease. Gene therapy targets the cause of disease, such as a variant or mutation to a gene. This is located on a strand of DNA that is causing too much, not enough, or incorrect proteins to be produced within cells. Most gene therapy approaches typically work by delivering a working gene into a cell using a vector, which is a virus with all the viral genes removed. The vector enters the cell and provides it with instructions to either produce functioning proteins or to silence a faulty gene. As a different approach, gene editing directly edits pieces of DNA within a cell. This changes the instructions that the DNA encodes, correcting the protein produced by the DNA to restore proper cell function. There are various gene editing approaches currently being researched, including zinc finger nucleases, talons, CRISPR-Cas systems, and AAV-based homologous recombination. All of these approaches work a little differently. For an example, we'll discuss CRISPR-Cas9, which uses two core components. The first component is a small piece of RNA, called a guide RNA, that finds the sequence of DNA code to be edited. The second component is a protein, called a Cas enzyme, or nuclease that has the ability to cut the DNA location and make the edit at the DNA location defined by the guide RNA. Next, the cell's natural DNA repair process happens, making the desired change permanent. For diseases where not enough protein is produced, gene editing can introduce corrections through gene integration. This means that the correct DNA sequence is added into the genome so that it can produce functional proteins. Another way to produce these proteins for some diseases is to make an edit to activate a silent gene that was inactive. For other diseases where a faulty gene may cause too much of a protein or dysfunctional proteins to be produced, gene editing can be used to silence or knock out certain genes in a cell. This approach alters or removes the problematic DNA sequence entirely. Gene editing technologies can be delivered into cells using in vivo or ex vivo methods. Here to explain is Dr. T.J. Craddock. In vivo means the gene editing components are delivered directly into the body to make edits within the cells. While ex vivo means the cells are first removed from the patient and then edited in a specialized laboratory and returned back to the patient's body. Like any medical treatment, the potential risks of gene editing are being thoroughly researched. When editing a DNA sequence, unintended gene modifications or chromosome rearrangements may occur, especially if multiple edits are being made at the same time. There's also the risk of modifying DNA locations that are not the desired target site, which are known as off-target editing events. If they occurred, Unintended gene modifications could change the intended effects of the therapy and result in short and long-term side effects. To better understand these risks and potential outcomes, gene editing is currently being carefully investigated in preclinical studies and clinical trials. These are required parts of the research process that determine if the therapy is safe and effective. Preclinical studies test the therapy in cell and animal models. If it is showing the potential to be safe and effective, then it moves into clinical trials with humans. Weighing the benefits and possible risks and challenges, many experts are excited about gene editing's potential to provide long-term benefits. For more about how gene editing works, visit patienteducation.asgct.org.